So in this video, we are going to learn how to send Discord messages for new task in ClickUp. Now suppose guys, you are using ClickUp to match all the tasks related to your work and you use Discord to communicate to your team. Now you want that whenever a new task is created in ClickUp, you want to share the same task details on your Discord channel as a channel message. But guys, Discord and ClickUp don't have any direct connection between them. So let me tell you how using Public Connects automation, you can actually automate this process. So the trigger of this automation will be creating a new task in ClickUp. An action will be sharing the same task details as a channel message on our Discord channel automatically. Now how you can set up this automation? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on Public Connects dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you will get a free sign up link of Public Connect in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can create your free Bubbly Connect account in just two minutes. So here guys, you can see that this is my ClickUp account and I want that whenever a new task is created in ClickUp, automatically the details of that task should be shared as a channel message on my Discord channel. And to do this, we have to connect ClickUp with Discord. And here guys, we are going to use Bubbly Connect to make this connection. So after coming to the Bubbly Connect dashboard, click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as ClickUp to Discord and then just click on create. Now you can see that our workflow is open over here and in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens. And the action says, do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. So our idea here is, first we have to get the details of a new task from ClickUp inside Pavli Connect. So we have to connect our ClickUp account with Pavli Connect over here. Now here in trigger window, in choose app, search for ClickUp and select it. After selecting ClickUp in trigger event from the dropdown, select new task as the trigger event. Click on connect and select add new connection. Now here in this window, we have to connect our ClickUp account with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, we have to enter the API token of our ClickUp account. Now here you must be thinking how you can get this API token. So to get it, just go to your ClickUp account and from the left corner, just go to your profile section and go to apps over here. After coming to the apps page, here you can see the API token of your ClickUp account. Just copy it from here, go to Pavli Connect and paste it over here and just click on save. And after clicking on save, here you can see that your ClickUp account will get connected with Pavli Connect. After making this connection, it is asking us workspace name, space name, folder name, and list name. So here we, we have to select that in which workspace, in which space, in which folder, and in which list we are looking for a new task. So I have basically created this list named as new integration in the folder named as integration in the space named as Pavli Connect in this Pavli workspace. So here we are going to select Pavli's workspace, select the space as Pavli Connect. Then here it is asking us for the folder name. So the folder name is integration. So select integration over here from the drop down, and the list name is new integration as you can see over here. So we are select, going to select new integration as the list name. So guys, after selecting all of these details, when we will click on the save and send test request button, the details of the most recent task, most latest task which we have created in ClickUp, will be received inside Pavli Connect. So before clicking on save and send test request, let's create a new task in ClickUp. So we will go to a ClickUp account and let's create a task. Click on this post plus button, give this task a name, for example, MailChimp integration. This is the name of the task in new integration over here. Let's add an assignee, for example, this is the assignee. Let's add a description as we have to integrate. MailChimp Pavli Connect. So here guys, we have to integrate MailChimp inside Pavli Connect. This is the description. If you want, you can add some, some kind of attachment. Let's set the priority as for example, high. Set a due date that is for example, 6th of Feb. This is the due date we have added. If you want, you can add a tag. I'm adding the tag as integration. Then you can actually edit the template and other details as well. So here while creating this task, you can enter all the details of your requirement over here and click on this create task button. 
So just now we have created a new task in ClickUp. And because we have connected our ClickUp account with Pavli Connect, we will see the details of the same task will be captured over here. Just click on this save and send test request button. And after clicking on save and send test request, here you can see that we have received some response. And in this response, you can see the details of the same task which we have just now created. When we will scroll down, here you can see the same description of the task which we have created. Then you, sc you can scroll down, here you can see the same tag name. Then here you can see the status of the task. Then here you can see the name of the project. Then here we have the priority. Scroll down, you can see the name of the task. You can see the name of the list and all the other details over here. So in this way, guys, you can see that all the details of a new task which is created in ClickUp will be captured inside Pavli Connect. Now, after getting these details, what we want? We want to share this new task details on our Discord channel as a channel message. Now to do this, just scroll down, come to our action window and here in choose app, search for Discord. Just select it. After selecting Discord, here in action event from the drop down, select send channel message as the action event. Click on connect. After clicking on connect, here you can see that all the fields of Discord can be seen. So in the first field, it basically asks us a webhook URL. Now guys, to connect our Discord channel with Pavli Connect and send a channel message over there, we have to basically create a webhook URL in our Discord server and then we have to paste the same webhook URL over here. So here you must be thinking how you can create this webhook URL. So it is very simple. You just have to go to your Discord server. After coming to Discord, on the top side, just click on this down arrow and go to server settings. Now here at the server setting page on the left side, here you can see a list of different options. Out of which, click on integrations and go to webhooks. After clicking on this webhooks page, here you can see a list of all the webhook URLs which we have created in our Discord server can be seen over here. Out of all of this, click on this new webhook button and then here you can see that just now a new webhook URL is created. Let's change the name of this webhook. For example, let me name it as ClickUp. Just enter ClickUp and then it is asking us to select the channel that using this webhook URL on which of our Discord channel the messages will be sent. So in the drop down, you can see a list of all the channels which we have created in Discord. So out of all of these channel, this is the channel named as new task in which I want to share the details of ClickUp task. So select that channel, then just click on this copy webhook URL button and click on save changes. Now, when we click on save changes, you will see that this webhook URL is added in our Discord channel. And after that, after copying this webhook URL, go to Pavli Connect and paste the same over here. Now, after this, the next thing it asks us is the message. That what is the message we want to send on our Discord channel? So here guys, you can basically create any message body of your requirement. I want my message to be, hello team. Okay, so these are the three basic details which I want to share on my Discord channel for the new task which we have created in ClickUp. And we have received all of these details from Click, uh, tr ClickUp in trigger window. So here in trigger window response, you can see the name of the task. We will scroll down and here you can see the response of the description of the task as well. And also you can see the priority of the task over here. So what we have to do from this trigger response or click up of a new task, we have to map these same responses in this message field in front of their respective names. So we'll just click on this field and here in front of task name, we have to mention the name of the new task from ClickUp. So from here guys, from this drop down, select the response of task name and map it over here. After task name, let's map the task description. So just click here and from the drop down, select the response of task description and map it. Then it is asking us for the priority. So just click here and from the drop down, select the response of priority and it will be mapped over here as well. So in this video guys, I just created this simple message and mapped only three details. Instead of this, you can basically create any message of your choice and map any data of a new task which we have received from ClickUp over here. After creating your message, the next thing it asks us is the bot name and the bot icon. So guys, this message, the new task details are shared on our Discord channel with a bot and you can actually change the name of the bot over here. So here in bot name section, you have to enter the same name which you want to give to that bot. For example, I want my bot to be named as ClickUp. 
and then here you can actually change the icon the logo of the bot as well you just have to enter the url or the link of the image which you want to add as the bot icon and then the bot icon will be replaced by that same image right now i just don't want to change the bot icon so i'm just ignoring this field for now and then just click on save and send test request after clicking on save and send test request here you can see that we have received some response and this response seems to be a positive response to us this response shows that the message which we have created over here with the same task details which we have created in clickup is been sent on our discord channel so let's check it we will go to discord and yes guys here you can see that on the same channel for which we have created the web hook url a new message is sent the message says hello team we have a new task task name mailchimp integration this is the task description and this is the priority so here guys we can see that the automation workflow which we have created using bubbly connect is working perfectly fine now using this automation whenever a new task will be created in clickup automatically the same task details will be shared as a channel message on our discord channel now guys after setting up this automation let's test this automation workflow once in real time so we will go to a clickup account and let's create a new task over here for example i would like to name my task as whatsapp integration just select the signy and then let's add the description as we are testing this automation so this is the description let's select the priority as normal and select a due date as 8th of feb and click on create task so just now we have created a dummy task over here in clickup and we will see as we create this task automatically within 10 minutes a channel message will be sent on our discord channel now it usually takes 10 minutes of time because the connection between clickup and pavli connect is a polling based connection and in this type of connection the pavli connect trigger will check for new data in clickup for new task in clickup every 10 minutes so that is why we have to wait for 10 minutes over here so just wait for 10 minutes okay so we have successfully waited for 10 minutes now let's go to our discord channel and yes guys here you can see that just now on our discord channel a new message is shared which says hello team we have a new task we have the same task name whatsapp integration which we have given in clickup now you can see the same task description we are testing this automation and the same priority normal the same task details which we have created in clickup is now shared on our discord channel as a channel message so guys we have tested this automation workflow in real time and this automation is working perfectly fine so not just these applications you can connect plenty of other applications using pavli connect and one more important thing you will find the clone link of this same workflow in the description box below by clicking on that link you can clone this same workflow into your own pavli connect account and use this automation workflow for free also let me tell you pavli connect offers you a free plan and in this plan you will get some free task every month into your own pavli connect account so if you want to try and test this automation you can do it for absolutely free If you have any kind of doubts or queries you can post them on forum.pavli.com so if this video was helpful to you you can obviously like this video comment down your suggestion and don't forget to share it with others so guys that's it for today's video thank you have a great day